after the completion of the prep work, panel installation can begin. Using a full panel, always start from the bottom left corner and work to the right. After installing a few full panels, the next row can begin. For course two, a cut is made at dimple tube to create a quarter panel starter. After it's put in, then full panels are installed to complete the row. Edco panels make it easy to know where to cut with stamped dimples along the top hook of each panel. The third course will be cut at dimple three to create a three-quarter panel starter. And the fourth course will be cut at dimple four to create a half panel starter. The fifth course will then start the pattern again using a full panel. Shake or slate panels are attached with shingle clips that are easily added to the panel and used with galvanized zip screws to securely fasten them down. Five clips should be added to each full panel and they should be spaced evenly to ensure a tight fit. Full panels are efficiently lined up with Edco's locking system and once a course is started, the process goes quickly using a high speed drill. Upon reaching the end of a course, and also when a course is started, installers should remember to snip the first and last shingle clip at the hooking area through the top flange. This will help pin the course in place and prevent any horizontal shifting. Finally, the starter panel and the finish panel of each course will need to be slightly modified so they can be field formed and wrapped around the eave starter along the gable. Panels should be carefully measured and one inch should be added to the needed length. This will allow for the panel to be notched, field bent, and wrapped around the starter. Once preformed, panels can be placed, locked into position, and then fastened. Panel edges are then hand pressed around the gable edge to create a tightly wrapped fit. When completed, the wrapped gable edge provides a clean looking installation that finishes off the roof with style.